right, guys, welcome back to another episode. It is December 14 right now, about nine o'clock in the morning, and we are about two and a half hours um, north of Grand Rapids right now. Uh, we're gonna try to ice fish. I don't know of any lakes in the entire lower peninsula that are for sure safe or that guys are fishing on yet, but I have a hunch that one of the ponds that I fished before way up north here um, normally freezes up pretty quick. So hoping that that uh, all goes as planned and we can get out safely on some ice. Hopefully we can get on this lake and hopefully we can catch some fish. We'll catch you guys once we get there. getting ready to hit the ice right now. I just checked the first couple feet with the spud. It's about a two hit, so I'm thinking there's probably two and a half to three inches. So it is safe, but not by much. I'm gonna spud the way out and make sure we're staying safe. Got a rope just in case anything goes bad, um, but I'm thinking we're sitting right around two and a half, three inches. So we're gonna get out there uh, carefully, slowly, take our time, so let's get after it. So here's the deal, found safe ice, that's the first positive. Um, but right when we got out here, checked the graph and for whatever reason, I think the battery shot on it. It was working last night when I charged it, but it didn't work today, so that's lovely. Have no sonar unit, um, got the shanty up, and it's super old as you can tell it's an old chapelle and then our next issue that we ran into was um, the bar that goes across the top was like frozen or locked up so that didn't work so then we had to innovate and go find a tree branch to keep it up so that's number two it's not ideal we're gonna see if we can make it work um, and pop around and hopefully get some trout on the ice here very shortly we'll keep you guys updated i'll probably just rock the gopro um, until we get hooked up or yeah so we'll keep you guys updated hopefully we can get some trout on the ice here soon Here we go, I'm on. I'm on. Oh, it's a nice rainbow. I was just doing an Instagram story. Oh, dude, let's go. That's a nice rainbow. Didn't let him fight very long. Dude, I was literally just dead sticking it. You wanna talk about doing it the old fashioned way? This is the definition of it. Whatever uh, we can do to get it done, look at that little tungsten jig. That's actually on a fake plastic. We didn't even find a store that had waxies on the way up because we got up here too early. But uh, there's the first fish of the day and that's a beaut. That's a really nice rainbow. See that tungsten right in the middle of his mouth. I was literally on my phone about to post a story saying we found uh, safe ice and dead sticking it and he thumped it. First fish of the year, back down the hole. Gonna get some more. All right, guys, we just got that first trout of the day. We're posted up, we got the camera, the big camera there in case we get on anything. Got the, that boy Henry right there, cubed media. Um, and yeah, we're doing it the old fashioned way. There we go. Oh, yes. This one feels bigger. I don't have a very, oh yeah, dude, it's a big one. Yeah, really your lineup if he's not already in it. Nice. Oh, that's a stocky little John. Dude, that is sweet. He's a thick boy. I was gonna say, the second he ate it, I was like, that's a bigger fish for sure. There's a look at fish number one. Two, wow, good call. He's much taller. Like, he's a lot thicker, a lot more girth, and a little bit darker in color. Beautiful, beautiful fish. We're getting back down. Fish number two, we just warmed the old mitts up for a second there. Um, yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy to be doing this the, the OG style. No graph, no really advantages over these fish, just literally dropping our baits down until it hits the bottom and then reeling it up a couple cranks. Dang, I thought we'd still be able to get bit out here. There we go. Dude, I had just dropped back down to the bottom. Oh, that's a big fish. Reel your bait up. I have no idea what this is, dude. I can't even move it. I had just dropped to the bottom. 
I have no idea what this fish is. It's not really fighting like a trout. Oh, I just saw it flash. Oh, it's a nice rainbow. Yeah, I'll let him fight. Put it down a little deeper. There you go. Ooh. Oh my gosh, she's a big one. Okay, 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 okay. So here's a look at that fish. He is a beauty rainbow. That's honestly, definitely the longest fish. It might be the biggest overall too. It's not quite as thick as that last darker rainbow, but it is definitely longer and he's pretty thick all the way through himself. So I was sitting with my bait a couple feet off the bottom, just kind of jigging it and dead sticking it and without any action. And then all of a sudden we were talking about moving and I dropped my bait all the way to the bottom and picked it up and shook it like two times. And then this dude just destroyed it. So there she goes. Yes, yes, just let him play. I'm gonna, oh, it's nice. Just take your time, try to keep your line off. Yeah, you gotta back up. And then when he's ready, just slowly pull him up and then try to grab him. Just don't, don't hit your rod tip on it. No, 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 keep your rod up. There you go. Just wait till his head's in the hole and then pull him up. Wait, <laughs> he's in the wrong way. All right, pull him up. Pull him up. Yeah! Congrats. Oh, first one. First trout ever. Henry's first trout ever came off the six cents little hair jig. Dude, he choked that thing. Look at that little hair jig. That is a thing of beauty. Put first it there. One. First trout oh, ever. Goodness. <laughs> gone, baby. Absolutely We're gonna get gone. some pictures and get him right back down. Yes, yes. Really, your lineup. Oh, dude, he's big. He is big. He's the biggest of the day, dude. He's a giant. Oh my gosh. I'm trying. Oh my goodness. Dude, he's giant. Like, by far the biggest. I've never caught a rainbow this big. I'm trying to take my time. There he is. Yeah, baby. Here's a look at that beautiful big fish. I'm not sure how long he is, maybe 15, 16 inches maybe, but beautiful, beautiful colors on him on that awesome new six cents hair jig. We're gonna make sure the shiny doesn't blow away. All right, guys, we're gonna try to keep the shanty as quiet as possible. She's an old girl, so she likes to act up from time to time, but we're gonna do a quick little recap just because that was kind of a mess. Um, I had just picked up that six cents hair jig, dropped it right down at the bottom, hit the bottom, picked it up, shook it for less than a minute and caught that big one. All of a sudden he came up, smashed it, and he just took off. That was an awesome fight. That was definitely my biggest uh, trout I've ever caught through the ice, at least rainbow. Awesome start. Um, we're definitely gonna keep ripping those six cents hair jigs. Those have been sweet. So we're gonna be done talking. This wind is too bad, the shanty's too loud. We're gonna get back down there and keep ripping these. Uh, six cents hair jigs around the bite just picked up um it's about 12 30 so yeah we got a lot of time ahead of us let's get back to it there we go oh my gosh dude it's another big one look at him down there Dude, he's just as big as the last one, if not. Yeah. He's a good one. <laughs> oh, another big mama. Yeah, he is a weird colored one, dude. Look at that hair jig. The nice thing is that hook's a little bit stronger, so you can like really stick them and get through their hard mouths with a little bit more ease than a uh, typical tungsten jig. Here's one more look at him. He's got a little bit of blood from that hair jig. We're gonna get him washed off and right back down. Very unique colored uh, trout, really nice length on him though. Gonna get him right back down. Is there? A little bit. There we go. It feels a little. 
Mm, not little. <laughs> not quite as big as the last one, but. Wow, death roll. Dude, look at those colors. Close your... That is gorgeous. That's one of the prettiest ones, I think. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I think this is like number nine or 10. I'm not totally sure. It's just really cool to see all the variety in the colors. Some of these are dark, some of them are light. The last one I caught was kind of a greenish yellow. So yeah, this we're gonna get this dude uh, back down the hole. He's a little bit fired up, so. Gonna get another release for you all and uh, keep after it. All right guys, we were just literally gonna pack up to leave and we were talking about really wanted to end on a fish. I already took my GoPro off and I hooked up as I was taking my GoPro off. So it looks like another decent sized fish and uh, we're gonna try to get them up here. It's a nice one. They're so, f there we go. Oh, he's, he's a little better than I thought. So we might be ending the day on this fish. We're not totally sure yet, but it's about 3, 3.30 right now. Um, so we've been at it for a while and we got a two hour drive home. So this might be a nice high note to uh, end the day on. Beautiful fish. So we spent most of the day in one area on the lake, um, basically fishing a break that kind of turned and then it had some uh, grass up on the shallower side of it. So we were just trying to bounce around and get just outside of those weed beds. Um, I started off with a tungsten jig. I think I caught two on that. And then I switched over to that little hair jig made by Six Sense. And we put the smack down on them there for a good hour. It was like every two or three minutes we would drop down, we'd get one. Those baits haven't quite hit the market yet. I think they're going to get dropped next month. So I would stay on the lookout for those. I think they're gonna be a sweet ice fishing bait for multiple species and I'm super excited to use those. For all you guys out there that wants to order anything off Six Sense, um, you can go on their website and use my code, which is R-E-E-L, real, um, to get 10% off anything. So whether that's um, those little hair jigs when they drop or fishing rods or whatever it might be, any tackle, anything that they have on their website, you can go ahead and use that code to save 10%. And uh, same thing with Waterland fishing glasses, which are these guys right there um, you can get 15% off anything their website with that same code so if you guys are looking to uh, get anything new restock on anything over the winter I would definitely recommend uh, checking those guys out they have some awesome stuff so appreciate you guys all tuning in hope you guys have a good one and hopefully this is uh, some foreshadowing for an awesome ice season uh, coming soon here to Michigan hopefully we can get some safe ice down around home so we don't have to make uh, five hours of driving but anyways gonna wrap it up here hope you guys have a great day thank you for tuning in and we We'll catch you in the next episode. Peace out.